Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we are discussing Ezekiel Polk. Now if the name Polk sounds familiar, it's because Ezekiel was the grandfather of our 11th president, James K. Polk. Now it's interesting to study Ezekiel's life, first of all because he led a pretty interesting life during the revolution, but also because he ends up setting the political family in place in Tennessee that would lead to a president of the United States. So let's get into it. Uh, Ezekiel Polk was born in Pennsylvania, but as a child his family moved to North Carolina. And as all his siblings grew up, they all bought houses in the area, and bought property close to each other. Now this was southern North Carolina, and Ezekiel bought some property there, and it turns out a survey was done, and his property ended up being in South Carolina. So it caused him a little bit of grief because he was working as a county clerk in North Carolina, but now that he no longer lived in that county, he could not be its clerk. So what he did is he joined the South Carolina militia, and he was uh, uh, commissioned as a lieutenant colonel in the South Carolina militia. Now this just so happened to be right about the time the Revolutionary War was starting, so Ezekiel Polk joined the Patriots, and he started fighting some skirmishes, mostly smaller skirmishes close to the frontier. Uh, his most notable battle was uh, the Battle of Reedy River, where he uh, overtook a handful of Cherokee Native Americans who were siding with the British during the war. About this time, Polk was actually also elected to the revolutionary South Carolina, South Carolina Assembly, but he never really got a taste for South Carolina, it seems, and he ended up resigning his commission during the war and moving to North Carolina. Southern North Carolina, but North Carolina all the same. So while he's there, he opens up a tavern, and he also becomes a justice of the peace. Turns out, the war wasn't over yet, and the British came and took up residence not far from him, actually in his brother Thomas's house. So, uh, Ezekiel Polk did something called taking protection. Uh, and what he essentially did was bribe the British not to come and destroy his property and send him to prison. This sounds kind of treasonous or traitory, if you will, uh, but it was actually very common at the time. Uh, the British went, wanted to win the war, but they also wanted the colonies to still be there. Their intention was not to just go through and destroy all the businesses. So if this guy's going to bribe us with some money, we'll let him be, even though he used to lead men against us on the battlefield. Uh, and, and he does that. And now uh, the people, you know, I said this was common, and, and to prove that, the people of his town didn't turn on him. They actually elected him sheriff shortly thereafter. Now, for his service in the war, Ezekiel Polk was granted some land in Tennessee, but he wouldn't go move there right away. Actually, he would wait about 20 years until after Thomas Jefferson was already president before Polk moved to this property in Tennessee. And when he moved, he brought a huge segment of his family. And because they were the biggest family in this small little town they were starting, the Polk family dominated politics in the area. So much so that a younger-ish politician named Andrew Jackson became very friendly with the family. And it was in this situation, in this political family, as Andrew Jackson was working with them, that a young James K. Polk moved with his grandfather and the rest of their family to Tennessee. And James K. Polk would learn of politics in Ezekiel Polk's house. He would learn of it from his grandfather. He would learn it from... Andrew Jackson, and he would be an Andrew Jackson supporter later in life when Jackson would become president uh, 20 or so, year, 25 years later. And then following suit, uh, James K. Polk would do the same thing. So that's the story of Ezekiel Polk and how the Polk family got situated in Tennessee and established a president in their lineage. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. If you really enjoyed it and you're new here, please hit subscribe. I put out these videos five days a week, and we do a live one on Saturday where I talk about what I've d written for my website, Founder of the Day. Uh, I implore you to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jason, and I will come with another video for you tomorrow.